Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just a vlog. I say just a vlog. I think these are fun. I like to watch them, so let me know in the comments. I have a plethora of laundry behind me. Does it stop at your house? Like at your house with however many kids you have, whether you have kids or not, just, just, just in your own home. Do you feel like laundry comes out of nowhere? Do you feel like, it's like some kind of infomercial, do you feel like you're overwhelmed by the amount of clothing that is in your home? I know, me, that's me, I feel it, that's me. I have about 101 things to do and it's like five o'clock. It's a weird smile. We're gonna get them done, we're gonna do it all together. I'm gonna do all the laundry, I'm gonna paint. Let me show you. All right, I'm gonna start this probably before dinner, but I started, I tried, I was gonna do like three quarters of the way up in this hallway, this green color, um, not this green color, like a green color. And when I put this on the wall, I was like, that is not it, y'all, that's not it. So I have acquired some more green paint and we are going to tackle this hallway. Yeah. Did I mention I have like 7,000 things to do? Let's look at my list together, shall we? First of all, this is what my list looks like. I did like a little brain dump last night and I listed out things like a to-do list. And then I started randomly <laughs> writing all these other things on here. But here's my list, okay, here's my list. After lunches and all that stuff. Pick up paintbrush, I got it. Laundry, kitchen floor, which I'm almost done with. Vacuum, bathroom, water the plants, car wash. Can't do that today, we're done. Uh, dishes, thrifted makeovers. I have got some really cute pieces that I thrifted, including this little guy back here. I'm sure that's a great shot um, that I really wanna make over. So maybe we'll get to that later on. You're just gonna spend the evening with me. Um, and that's pretty much other than some other specific things for my kids' school. That's pretty much all that's going on tonight. But boy, that's a lot. That's a lot. And I've waited until now to start tackling it. Okay. It's fine though, it's fine. Everything, everything's fine. So I'm about to start setting up in, I'm leaning on the wall by the way, I'm not normally that. <laughs> I'm about to start setting up in the hallway. And I'm a little nervous just because the last time the paint that I got was not it. And I was so excited, I was like super motivated. And then when the paint was wrong, I just lost it all. And so now I'm back. We're gonna try to figure it out. Also got a can of white paint to kind of touch up the trim because I don't know. I feel like our trim has gotten gross over the years. So, anyways, we're gonna we're gonna knock this out. I'm gonna like style this. Hi. With me. Okay, so I have my level, and ideally I had a, a really big one, but this is the only one I can find. Ideally you would like, I'm sure, measure or like something, but my husband's not here and I'm really, I don't like doing that. Ugh. So I'm just gonna use this and go down the wall and to make my line, I, I don't know, I don't know. Whoa, I'm thinking somewhere in here, go up to like that high. So then we'll make it level. Make it level and then this flat part. Okay. See how, and then we're gonna overlap it. They're losing their literal minds. So I know this isn't ideal for how you would measure this out, but it worked for me. I mean, I didn't need it to be a certain height because I was only doing this section of wall between these two doors. So I would say if you're trying to do something that goes like all the way around the room, definitely measure. But I'm just doing this section of wall. So if you're doing like one wall or just like a little piece, then doing it that way definitely works. I think in the future we're gonna add some trim here. I have some pieces 
of trim, but I was not the one to put that in. So we have them. I'm not sure. We may put them up eventually, but for now, I'm loving the way that it has turned out. So I just took that frog tape and spoiler alert, that frog tape was amazing. It made the crispest line. It was crazy. I did not expect that at all. Also, if you notice, I'm definitely using a pair of scissors to open up the paint can because I don't do anything correctly. <laughs> This color is Evergreen Fog by Sherwin-Williams. I believe it was the color of the year this year or last year, very recently. I, I'm thinking it's this year. And as soon as I started painting this on the wall, I knew that that was the color that I had been looking for. You see, I painted it over that old swatch there. And this is still green, but it pulls gray, it pulls neutral, it pulls warm tone, um, and it's not yellow. So I don't know if that makes any sense, but this is not a yellow green. This is a very neutral green. So that's one of the reasons why I love it so much. But as soon as I started painting it, I knew that it was perfect. I have to say, I almost did not include these clips because I had taken off my jacket at this point because uh, it was just getting hot in the house and I was like not loving the way that I looked in these clips, but I decided to keep it in there because this is real life and I've got to be confident in no matter what. So here I am. This is very real. Um, I will say, I don't know if you saw the kind of roller that I was using. I used this in my mom's um, home makeover and it worked great but for some reason on this wall it was slipping and sliding around and the roller itself wasn't actually rolling so I feel like it didn't do a super great job on that first coat um, and so I did end up having to do like three coats on this wall which I don't think is normal especially not for this Sherwin-Williams paint so I would say make sure you get a great roller maybe something that you used before that you know will be good um, I obviously got a different one and I didn't get the the correct one so um, but this worked just fine it's great for a small space and I just think that you know I'm not one to pull out a whole big 12 inch roller and do the whole thing but if I can do something small like this like in a couple of hours I'm much more likely to get it accomplished So here's a peek at what it's looking like just with that first coat and like I said I didn't end up doing three coats All right, so I took a quick break after I did a first coat on the wall and I'm gonna make some uh, pasta for dinner. I don't know what made me think of this, but I was like, you know that TikTok pasta? I just saw that I had feta cheese in my refrigerator. I have none of the other ingredients. And actually, the feta that I have is crumbled, so I don't even think that's right. But I thought, can I make something with this? For sure. I've got regular pasta sauce in the pantry, so it's not like I even needed to do this, but here we are. Let me show you what I did. Okay, so here's my feta. I just used a whole package of the crumbled feta, and then I took some of this Marin Glen Organic uh, crushed tomatoes. This already has basil in it, but I put the sauce in this pan, and then I added garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit of oregano, and then some more basil. And then I kind of made a little well and put the crumbled feta inside and then added a little bit of olive oil and salt on the top. And I'm gonna bake that for a while and hope that things go well. So I hope you found that a little bit satisfying. I could not get over, again, the crispness of that line. Any little imperfection you saw was definitely from the pencil marks because that paint did not bleed one bit. So I pulled this ruggable rug that we have currently in our kitchen into the hallway. I love the look of it. I just don't think the size was correct for this space. I think it needed to be a little skinnier and a little bit longer. But as far as working with the colors, so, so pretty. I think eventually I'm going to add some pictures up there. But for now, it's so nice and clean.
So I've just gotten it out of the oven and I realized I don't know what you do next. Do you mix it all together? Do you know? I'm gonna have to Google it. Here we go. Let me tend to my pasta, which I didn't even realize that's the same pasta that they use, the corkscrews. Okay. I hear ya. I don't know about this, guys. Seems uh, just like tomatoes and feta. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna let this sit here while the pasta cooks and then we'll revisit this. Okay, sit. Good girl. I didn't even really have to tell you. left this clip out because as you can tell it's completely blurry but I'm getting something done I'm checking something off of my list I'm watering these plants out front I've figured out the secret to keeping mums alive and that's that you actually have to water them so here I am even though you can't totally see me <laughs> y'all nobody can take me anywhere hold on okay I was really skeptical I was really skeptical about this, but oh my goodness, this is delicious. Wow, I'm am, I am not sure what just happened. So good. Hi, good morning. It's a totally different day. I am actually outside trying to film a reel for Instagram. Maybe I'll put it on TikTok too. Um, I have been kind of dabbling in doing these reels and I thrifted this bowl and I wanna make it over, so I'm gonna show it to you. So here's the bowl that I picked up. I love the shape of it. It's just very large and wide. And then it was only $2.99, so. I can definitely see this was probably from my childhood. Like this is this is the 90s right here in uh, bowl form. And I'm just gonna update it a little bit. So I took some paint. This is the Sherwin-Williams. I have it right here. Uh, emerald and it's in the color and iron. It's the same color that I painted our uh, laundry room. And I added some baking soda to it and I'm about to paint. So here's what it looks like after the first coat and I'll just let that dry and put probably at least one more, maybe even two more coats. But here's the other piece that I thrifted. This was $4.99. Is it so pretty? It came with a lampshade, like this blue lampshade. And honestly, it's kind of cracked and stuff on the inside. So I wanted to do some kind of DIY to it because if it messes up, I mean, it was already kind of messed up. Um, but I'm not like, I was like, I'll just paint it the same color, but then also like the blue of this lampshade is really beautiful. It just doesn't match my house. So it's like a little bit of a dilemma. I'm not really sure what to do. Well, I'm going to have to pause making that reel because my phone died. So that's like the number one thing to make the reel. And I don't have that. So I'm going to clean my toddler's room really quickly. Um, she's been playing this game lately where she likes to pretend that she's going on a trip. So she like faux packs a bag, faux goes to the closet and gets in and pretends like it's an elevator at a hotel. I don't know why. I don't know why, but it's adorable. She literally, we were in the living room the other day and she just came walking between us and she was like, just got out of the elevator. <laughs> we were like, we have an elevator? Okay. <laughs> so anyways, I'm about to clean this up. Can you see that? Do you see that? That's confetti. Confetti from Eileen's birthday. Uh, Mally found it and was like, oops. <laughs> so anyways, let's, let's tidy this up.
really quickly wanted to share this with you. I can't believe I didn't film this the other day, but I got rid of like probably over half of everything in the girl's closet um, and then just made space. So there's three boxes here. One is like keepsake clothing. One is um, keepsake clothing and like shoes that Della can grow into. One is 4T and one is 3T. So Della is in 2T now, which is what is now all that's hanging in her closet. And then Mally is 5T and up, so that is over here. But anyways, I cleaned it all out. It feels so nice. There's something about having empty floor space in a closet that just makes it feel ginormous. So I have an LG stick vacuum that is very powerful. I love to use it for all kinds of messes, but this confetti was like no match for it. It was crazy. It had like, it was normal little like thin paper pieces, but it also had these little gold squares of almost like cardboard in it. And it kept clogging my vacuum because they were so thick and heavy and I didn't realize it. And I just, it clogged it like five times. So I ended up uh, taking the broom and like sweeping the carpet and everything. It was not ideal. I'm pretty sure I'm going to find pieces of it everywhere still, but the problem is mostly solved. So this is what her room looks like all tidied up. This is all I got taken care of today. I did this room, I get all the confetti taken up and then I did those thrifted makeovers and then I went and spent time with my son at his school and now I'm about to go to some baseball practice. So that's all I got done off my list today and you know what, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that and I want you to be okay with that too. So sometimes we don't check all of, all of the boxes but we're making an effort, we're trying to get things done and that's fine but also making sure that we're taking time for our family. That's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that you'll subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you all in my next one. Bye.